In this video, I will show you how to fix crashing in Valorant. So if your Valorant game is crashing, then make sure to watch this video the whole way through. And with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So here we are on my desktop. Now there's a couple of things you're gonna to want to do to resolve this issue. And the first thing you're gonna to want to do is come down to the bottom left-hand corner, click onto your search box and type Valorant into here. Now underneath best match, you should see the Valorant app showing up. So what you wanna do is right click onto this and then click onto open file location. So here we are in the file location. Now from here, you're gonna see the Valorant app down here. So what you wanna do is click on this to highlight it, right click, and then come down and click onto properties. So the first thing we're gonna do is, if you look at the top, you've got some different tabs, and what you wanna do is click onto compatibility. And first of all, you want to tick this box down here underneath settings, where it says run this program as an administrator. Once that's done, go ahead and click apply. And if you do have a box, depending on which version of Windows you're using, you might have this run compatibility troubleshooter box. What you wanna do is go ahead and run that next. So it's going to detect if there's any current issues with running Valorant smoothly on your system. And it's gonna give you the option to try recommended settings. So of course you wanna select this option and what it's gonna do is basically resolve any issues and change any settings automatically to make the compatibility more suitable. So once that's done, go ahead and click test the program. So as you can see, it now says troubleshooting has completed. So we've got a tick and it's saying fix, which means it's that any problems are fixed. But what we want to do is a couple more things to make sure that we can run Valorant successfully without having any issues with crashing. So the next thing you're going to want to do is actually come out of this, come back down to your search box in the bottom left hand corner and go ahead and type Defender Firewall. Now go ahead and open up your Windows Defender Firewall underneath best match. And then from here, if you look to this menu on the left-hand side, you're gonna see an option to allow an app or feature through the Windows Defender Firewall. So sometimes the app can be blocked and this can cause issues with crashing too. So what we wanna do is check if this is here and if not, we're gonna add this to Firewall. So what you're gonna to want to do is just scroll down through all the programs and see if you can see Valorant. This is in alphabetical order, so you'll see it'll be down here where all the Vs are. So if it's not down here, what you're gonna to want to do is click on to change settings up here and then underneath click allow another app. Now go ahead and click the browse button and just come across to the folder where Valorant is installed. So for my case, it's installed on my external hard drive. So what I'm gonna do is open this up, come into the Riot Games folder. Then what you wanna do is click onto Valorant, go into live and you're gonna see the app down there. So what you wanna do is double click this and then click add to add this to the list. So you can see it's come up like this, bootstrap package game. And what you wanna do is make sure both of these boxes are ticked, private and public, and then just click okay. Once that's done, go ahead and close this window. And it's just one final thing we're going to do. So the final thing we're going to do is actually check if our graphics cards are up to date. So to do this, you wanna again, come down to the search box in the bottom left-hand corner, go ahead and type device manager. And again, open up device manager underneath best match. So from here, what you're gonna to want to do is look for display adapters, which is this one here, and click the arrow next to it to display your graphics card. Next, go ahead and highlight your graphics card, right click, and then click onto update driver. From the options that come up, what you wanna do is click onto search automatically for drivers, and it will tell you if your drivers are up to date. If it's not up to date, then of course, you're gonna have the option to install the latest drivers. So once you've completed all those steps, what you're gonna to want to do now is go ahead and restart your computer. So just like this, you wanna come down to your power, restart your computer, go ahead and start up Valorant, and you should be able to play that now without any problems with crashing. So I hope this tutorial helped you out today, and if it did, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just wanna take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.